Hey, how you doing? Doberman Dan here, speaking with one of my subscribers, Chris Stella. How you doing, Chris? Dan, I'm doing great. How you doing over there in Florida? I am doing great. Um, you've uh, been keeping me up to date on some things happening here. You got a pretty interesting story, so I thought we could chat for a few minutes about what's going on here with your business. Uh, well, you know, t tell us a little bit about yourself what you do for a living, and then tell us how you got into this project we're going to talk about. All right. Well, uh, what I do for my job, which I'm not too fond of, is uh, I handle contracts for a utility company, I'm trying to get out of that. So that's kind of how I stumbled on all this stuff. Uh, I picked up your kitchen table uh, business, your, your guide to the kitchen table entrepreneur, and uh, I just took it. I followed the action steps and I was like, you know what? I've been bodybuilding. I've been doing the supplement stuff for about, I think, five or six years. I've been into supplements. I did it all through college, you know. Thought it would be cool to get really jacked and stuff. So I've always been around supplements. And I just decided to give it a go with a, with a niche I thought it would work. And I kind of just took all your action steps and put stuff in motion and, and got results. Not all of them were too good at first, but uh, with a couple of tweaks, it looks like something I can uh, maybe do full time so it's been awesome you're putting that stuff into action and make money yeah so uh, I started out I had to do the market research which uh, took a lot longer than I thought I thought I was just gonna get you know do a Clickbank product or something do the quick research you know copy it throw up a sales page but I, I went with the supplements it took a lot more uh, a lot of research a lot more research but how did you do your research? Uh, a lot of my research is um, I actually did some direct mail research. He gave me one of those guides to check on. Um, uh, I forget. It's the, it's like the SRDS, but it's the free version. What was that? that uh -huh. you yeah, uh, at nextmark.com. Nextmark. I, I actually, I, I've never done that. And I, I took a look and saw who was selling. You know, I, I might as well tell everyone I'm in the memory loss industry and, and I decided to see who was selling what if anyone was even selling it I did a little of that and then after that I knew it was something I, that could be profitable collected as much data I could uh, headlines from headlines to offers ran through them all and they were all different uh, I kind of did um, the keyword research so I put their uh, put their website you know in the Google keyword tool generated a bunch of keywords from there, I kind of weaved my sales copy around who I thought I was talking to and uh, made a cool story out of it, tried to hit all those big uh, emotional buttons. And let's be honest, in memory loss, uh, it's, it's, it's not that hard. I mean, people are suffering. And I think that's kind of what you got to look for. You got to look for something where you're going to get an emotional response very easily. Now, I just got stuff in action. I mean, I failed a bunch the first time. I didn't get any sales, lost some money. But uh after my first, what was it? My first uh, first time I tweaked everything, I got up to a one and a half percent conversion. And after 200 clicks, you get three sales, you get pretty excited. So from then on, I've just been split testing, calling, talking with you, and uh, it's, it's been it's been great. So when we look at this, we keep the response rate the same, even though I'm doing a little better. But stuff changes, competition enters. When if I'm out of a thousand clicks, make 15 sales. I end up making 792 bucks with my then I have to add my advertising cost PPC. I end up making on a 3-day test $592. And that's because I just don't have the money right now, to be completely honest, I'm not ashamed to say it, to spend any more on PPC. And um sales required to break even. I thought this was cool. This changed completely. Um I'm getting a little cocky down there. You see joke. That's not <laughs> a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be saying that. Um, but sales require to break even. I don't even need four sales. That means my response rate required is not even 0.4%. And um, a lot of guys can get 0.4%, I'm pretty confident in. I mean, if I can do it, I think a lot of people can do it. So that shouldn't intimidate you. It should be, if you see a number like that, you should kind of get excited, I'd assume. And um, the result is... Yearly earnings on autopilot, three day test. You make five hundred ninety two bucks times it by one hundred twenty one days because you're selling seven days a week. 
that's 71 grand. It's almost 72. And this completely blew me away because, I, like I said, never did an analysis. And I was like, holy crap. With my current numbers in just a month in, following you blindly, I guess I, that was my one good job, um, you know, I got a profitable company. And I didn't do too, too much. Do you mind me asking throughout this entire process, I mean, you know, just ballpark figure, what you invested uh, in pay-per-click advertising to test this? Sure. Um, and then I'll add something because uh, you're going to find out when you start testing, you're going to make some sales. And you got to calculate that. You're going to eventually see that you got 300 bucks in your PayPal and you spent a thousand on advertising, so you really only paid seven hundred. So you know what I mean. But um, I probably spent. I I averaged. I did it the other day for five tests. I'm gonna just do it on here because I'm not that smart. Um, five tests, and I averaged fifty six cents a click times point five six. I spent around five hundred sixty bucks over the course of a month on PPC, and. Um, that's because I wasn't doing really too too well with um, my cost per click, and that five sixty really doesn't end up like I said being five sixty because I'm not sure the exact figures, but with all my tests, I mean, let's just say you make, you know, five sales at whatever you make whatever amount of sales I made, I, I eventually had a little over three hundred in my PP uh, my uh, PayPal account. And that's at the first month, and I have a lot of people going to pay me next month. Um, that averages out to be $200 over the course of the month for just testing a product. And that doesn't even count the money you're getting on the back end from that uh, auto ship you're doing. So, but, you know, 560 bucks is the PPC number that you were asking. I, I've got the best lesson in my life from doing this stuff. And I got a lot of bills, Dan, and I can still do it. Well, n not only that, but you you got a full time job, so oh right, yeah, I do. Yep. You know, so you had to squeeze all this stuff in in addition to working a full time job. That's correct, but um, yeah, with a full time job, you should easily be able to do it. I mean, it's not that you don't need super amount of time, especially if you outsource. So, so so invest you invested some time that you know might have been spent. Uh, you're a young guy, so it might have been time spent chasing women or, uh, <laughs> or or going out to some bars or maybe watching some TV. Uh, right. yep. And you invested 560 bucks, which is money that also might have been spent chasing women. <laughs> uh, but it's not like you lived like a monk, a monk putting this together and made a big no. risk, you know. No. I still I still went out my Friday, Saturday. I just made sure that in the free time I got, I sat down and dedicated, you know, a few hours here and there to get this get this thing up. I, I had got goals and um talking to you weekly kinda of motivated me to um you know, make sure I had something up the following week. But in all honesty, yeah, I mean it, you no, you don't live like a monk. I mean it's it's nothing. It's a little time after work that you'd be watching the T V it's what I did, and it, it's what anyone can do. And, and so now you got you got the beginnings of a business that could, uh, you know, support you in style for God knows how many years, just from you know yeah. spending a few weeks of of testing. 